okay so good evening guys so welcome uh, and uh, thank for thanks for joining this call so guys today like uh, why we have this call because like today we will be discussing about uh, the course which we are launching so basically we are launching a new course uh, and that is nothing but the devops with the uh, aws uh, course and this is our uh, uh, course content so uh, in the morning time right i already shared this uh, document right with you all of you and uh, we would be uh, following this document to uh, you know, to take up this DevOps and uh, you no know, AWS session, training session. So, guys, uh, this is my official, uh, you know, like uh, first training which I would be taking from my channel. Last year, what happened, right? I had took some uh, couple of training for other uh, institutes and organization. So that's how, like, I got into getting, I got into taking the training on DevOps and uh, uh, AWS from the last day itself. But for my channel, that is Rajesh DevOps, right? This is my first official uh, training which I would be taking, and this would be the first batch. So now, so guys, uh, we are targeting this uh, training for both for uh, IT and a non-IT professional. So, so those guys who are into non-IT, right, who are not into a, like a IT background and who want to get into uh, uh, getting into the DevOps and cloud technology. So even they can also attend this session. And uh, basically, you could see that from the non-IT background, most of the people who are from civil engineering or who are from some other backgrounds, right? Some uh, something like uh, some BSc background or uh, sometime even BCom also. So BCom or MCom. So even such people also they want to enter into the IT field. So it's better always that they can enter into IT into a kind of a support job, so they can get into a DevOps and uh, you know cloud support job actually. So when they get into it, uh, like they can uh, they can uh, you know like uh, they can uh, get set into this IT work and also like they can kickstart their journey working in DevOps and cloud. So that's an easy way of you know, getting into the IT, uh, IT work actually. So, so this course is for both of them actually. Okay, so so, so guys, what I've did here, like uh, basically uh, I have divided the whole DevOps course and the AWS course together I'm saying in two sections, that is uh, DevOps part one and part two. Later I'll be discussing about what we are covering about the part one and part two. Right. So why? Because why? Why you have divided? Because that most of them like uh, they want a particular uh, uh, you know like topics to be uh, to attend actually. So that's the reason what happened. Right. Instead of making the whole course right, I just divided into two parts actually. So first I'll be taking a part one, right, and then later I'll be taking the part two. Okay. So this is what I thought like I will have this course into two parts actually. Clear. You can consider it as a whole DevOps course, but still I'm just saying that okay we'll consider it as a two parts. So once if I complete the DevOps part one, right? Later, I'll be starting the DevOps part two. Okay, and you could see the duration also. I have kept on around two and a half months. So it might take a little bit more than what I've mentioned. So it might take another two more weeks to complete the job. But anyhow, I will try to finish this course on time within two and a half months. Okay, and uh, so that's the reason. So what I've mentioned here, the both, the both courses, DevOps part one, part two, it would be uh, coming up to 150 hours. So max, I've mentioned it as a, five months of this course. So you might consider it as a something like uh, more than like three weeks more uh, it might take to complete this course. So by max, I would be covering uh, in five and a half months, this entire course. And each and every uh, session would be around one and a half hour. You know very well that like I take usually uh, take uh, the sessions around one and a half hour. So when we attend one and a half hour class, right? So whatever we need, right? Like we can able to cover uh, up to maximum extent in each and every session. Right, that's the reason I have uh, you know kept one and a half hour session for uh, each and every session. So this session, guys, I think I have not come uh, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I mentioned the timings also. This session is from Monday to Friday. Okay, Saturday, Sunday we will uh, not be having any session. You can uh, practice on those days, and uh, I have kept the timing as six to seven thirty. This is not fixed timing. Just to mention, uh, you know, for the class timings, right? I have mentioned that it would be around uh, 6 to 7.30. So, but we can uh, decide the timings, so, right? Based on your availability and based on the number of participants, right? Who joined for this course. So we will take up, uh, like we will take up everyone's suggestion. And then like, we will try to fix the timing. What would be the timing? Maybe like morning time, we might have a session or evening time. So we'll see uh, based on the participants, right? If 70 to 80% of the people uh, say about that, like uh, okay, we are okay to attend for the 6 a.m. Uh, to 7.30 a.m. Or as some people might say, sir, we are comfortable with 8 o'clock, 8 to 9.30. So it's all depend upon you guys. So morning time, little bit, I'll be free, actually. So morning, early morning time will be free so that we can uh, take a session very early morning also. 
even if you are okay i can even take up morning 430 also so i usually wake up at 430 right so i can have a session so it's all depend upon us like uh, like what which timing we need or in case uh, if we don't need this timing and we need in the evening session we can discuss that also later we can fix one timing and we can stick to the time and we can schedule this four section okay Yes, yes, Sanjay, we will add that. I will tell about, discuss about the, uh, you know, like uh, the syllabus now. So in that, you can ask me any questions. So guys, I would uh, request you to unmute and ask, uh, like you can ask in a chat also, but it is better you unmute and ask the question to me so that, you know, it will be comfortable for us to answer. So now, so guys, this is, uh, so as you know very well, my name is Rajesh and, uh, you know, Rick, uh, basically I'm, uh, uh, like I'm, uh, I'm into this IT organization from last uh, 11 off to 12 years. So, and uh, I worked initially as a release engineer and later I got into, uh, you know, like uh, working on DevOps and cloud technology. So I'm totally, I'm having around 11 years out of which like strictly I've been working on DevOps and cloud from uh, last uh, almost like seven years. Before that, I was into mostly onto the release management, right? And also for a few years, I worked as a testing engineer also. So that's how uh, about myself. And this is my official email ID, guys. So any Thing you have you can even drop me an email also or else better that always you call me to my number or or else whatsapp to my number and you can ask me any question if you have okay so this the mode of the training is in english yes but some people if they are if they want in hindi i can also add up uh explanation even in india also right so you have to let me know before itself right so i can have a mix of english and hindi both in the session so that uh people who are from North India, right? They can attend it and they can try to understand even in Hindi also. So nowadays, you know that like in North India, in every region, now it has become a regional training actually. In Andhra Pradesh, if you see, right, a lot of trainers have started taking classes in Telugu. Same thing with Tamil Nadu. Same thing with North India. There are a lot of trainers are there who are taking only on Hindi actually. So uh, that's how. So I would say that uh, I will be adding, mixing up both uh, Hindi and English actually. Uh, English and Hindi. So that we will be able to, uh, you know, like... Uh, uh, cover up larger audience actually right now come back to this course guys so it says that actually no prior experience or knowledge is required for this course yeah that's correct but we don't need it but if you have a little bit uh, glimpse of it work or a glimpse of the software technology right it would be better so that you'll be able to grasp faster way but even if you don't have any kind of a background no doubt no problem uh, i'm going to the people who are completely from non it uh, professional right i will have a separate session with them later uh, uh, on the day and I will try to add on some more, uh, you know, value to them so that they can able to sync up and they can able to understand, uh, you know, like DevOps and uh, AWS course in a better way. So for a non-IT professional or for a fresher, right, I'm going to give more time for them so that they will be able to sync up. With so it's apart from this time, whatever we'll be setting a time, right, I will give a separate time for the non-IT people. So, so that's a good thing that I'll be sparing more time even with the non-professional IT also so that you know, like they'll be able to understand about the whole thing about this, how exactly this software engineering works actually, right? So anyhow, during our class session also, I'll be covering up many of the basic things also so that you'll be able to understand in a better way. Okay, so now, so coming back here, guys, as I said earlier that this course has been developed in two parts. So we'll be discussing about what are the uh, content we are going to get in a part one and, and in a part two later now. And timing, as I said, right, Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you want, we can have a session or else we can keep it for a doubt session or whatever might be. So what I have made uh, for this course, guys, so usually I'll be having a one and a half hour session. Say, for example, if I take a class at six o'clock morning, six to seven thirty, we'll have uh, the session. But do, after the session, seven thirty also, I'll be there available for more than 20 minutes. Right. So that in between, you can ask me later. I will be available every day online after the close uh, class completes so that if anyone's need, they can ask me an extra doubts or something so that I will be able to resolve their doubts. So this is the promise I'm going to give you to everyone that after the class also half an hour, minimum 30 minutes or 20, 20 minutes is sufficient. Suppose if, in case, if there are more people who want to ask a lot of things, right, I will be extending for more time and uh, I will be available, uh, you know, after the call, after the session also. Okay. So this is all about the class timing. Guys. So timing, as I mentioned, we need not to worry. We will have a separate discussion on that and we will try to fix the time, right? Now, so as I already mentioned, based on the parts and request, we'll schedule the timing either morning or evening. Once the batch is scheduled, the class time, uh, timing can be discussed, okay? So now, 
so uh, so i am not very good with this uh, you know uh, you know taking up the course fees and it means that i am not very uh, you know like i am not i don't feel very comfortable in speaking about the course fees but still yeah i have to speak about that so guys what i have did right i have uh, kept a very reasonable price of this devops course so part one i'll be uh, charging around uh, 5000 rupees an hour right no. if in case if people who are uh, oh. outside right uh, like they can uh, they can go up uh, the course is, is 75 dollars us dollars actually right. closely come to sun for us yeah. dollars including uh, you know yeah. the yeah. exchange charges actually master last one aha master last one da ani kada raadu go ahead this is the best ah yeah vinod please mute yourself yeah Yeah. yeah so that's what uh, guys uh, so i have kept a very reasonable price for this course so i'll be uh, charging 5000 rupees for this course so you can attend the course for the first week free and after that if you feel uh, to continue you can continue or else you can drop it okay so that's how and uh, coming back to the syllabus guys so this is important section which we are going to discuss now so we have a two part as i mentioned devops part 1 and part 2 so in the devops part 1 what are the things or what are the modules we are covering so guys we are going to cover uh, what i am thinking what i am planning to cover in the module one is it i will be covering up the basics of linux so as we know many of us are not good in linux right or else some of the people who have worked on windows platform right they would have never worked on linux so uh, for devops course right always it is mandatory that you should have a linux knowledge so linux and windows both are required it's not like that you should have only knowledge on linux no you should even have a knowledge on windows also very much because in many uh, in many uh, uh, you know like projects and all right you will be working purely on windows also where you will be deploying a dot net application on uh, on uh, you know like on azure platform or on to the windows server so you need to understand all the uh, technical things in the windows platform or into the windows server so we have to have a knowledge actually i'm not saying that you should and you know that nowadays like most of the people most of the companies right they are asking even for the powershell scripting also right so powershell scripting where you can automate any kind of a scripting onto the windows platform so that's the reason that you should always have a knowledge on both the operating system windows and linux but linux is more uh, you know like popular because most of the ongoing projects in the industry are on linux server itself so that's the reason what happened right when it comes to devops or when it comes to the cloud the very mandatory or the basic expectation from the people that he should have a good amount of knowledge on linux now what we are going to learn in linux guys so linux as you know in my channel i have covered a lot actually i need not to really you know uh, like uh, explain uh, or uh, explain it again but still as part of this course right i have i have to take the linux so i will be teaching about the basics about the linux operating system concepts right and we will be discussing about lot of commands which are used and what are the different modes we have in linux right we have a gui mode we have a command line mode right so many various different modes are there where we will be interacting with the, with our linux operating system that i am going to discuss with that and also like i'll be discussing about like the introduction of linux shell scripting how we can automate any kind of a task or any kind of a uh, like uh, uh, day to day activity work right? by by automating right and by using or by writing a shell script actually so regarding that like i will be covering around two to three sessions guys so that we will be able to comfortably understand how exactly the shell script works and how in the real time we can able to implement the shell script and automate the task so this is very important guys because you know very well that nowadays even the devops engineer they started writing the shell script as well as the python scripting so they should have some ample knowledge on how to write a script and how to debug a script also you could see that in the industry right you will be having a lot of scripts which you will be running on a day to day activity or will be executing for doing some setup or task or you are automating some task to do some operations on a day to day activity or you need to do some kind of a backup recovery so many operations you do as a devops engineer or even as a support engineer so you will be executing scripts so we need to understand how that script works so you need to understand the uh, the whole uh, uh, like uh, uh, shell scripting variables features and also you need to discuss uh, we will be discussing about what are the syntaxes we have in shell scripting so we will be covering basically the bash shell scripting here so we will be covering a bash okay so we will be learning about uh, beam please mute yourself guys i see that you are unmuting and uh, please uh, you can if you have any question you can unmute and ask me okay so apart from this guys so what i would be doing that i will be even covering up the basic networking concepts also 
right? So basically, we need to have some ample knowledge on the networking concept. So what exactly networking is all about, like, right? How we do a communication from one system to another system? What is network topology? Right. And what are the different uh, you know, the hardware components which come to networking? What are the basic uh, uh, protocols we have? Right. So basic networking protocols. Right. So for example, we'll be having some of the basic uh, TCP IP protocol. Right. We have a uh, ICMP protocol or we have a uh, what else you have a. Uh, there are many other protocols are there, right? For example, you have a, I can even discuss about the BGP protocol. So these are something basic related to our networking, which we would be discussing it. So I will see which are the protocols which I cover. I will cover in one session, some of the protocols. And also like, we need to have an understanding about how exactly the networking can be done. So basically we have a different classes of IP address, right? Different classes of IP address we have. We need to understand broadly what are the different classes of IP addresses and how we can uh, do a subnetting and what is an advantage of doing the subnetting, right? And how we can uh, able to achieve the subnetting. Everything we'll be discussing in this, all these basic sessions. So this is what I thought I would be covering in the basics classes. So if we have a basics Linux operating system, as well as if we have some basic networking concept, then we are ready to learn or understand the DevOps and cloud technologies. So the basic expectation, guys, from for the for you to learn DevOps or cloud is the networking as well as the basics of Linux. Apart from that, there are many other are this. For example, you need to even learn or understand about some uh, servers what we configure in Linux. Say, for example, we we configure web servers, we configure the app uh, application servers, we configure uh, you know like a database servers, we configure the NFS server, we configure FTP server. Like that, there are many servers are there which we need to have some basic knowledge because that in the real time also, you will be asked to configure such servers in the real time. So in that case, what happened, right? So they expect you, should, you to have some basic Linux administration knowledge also. This is also one of the prerequisite what they ask from the DevOps and Cloud Engineer. Clear, guys? So in as part of the basic Linux administration, I will be covering up some servers actually. So what are those? We have already mentioned over here. Web server, that is Apache and Nginx. So I'll be explaining about how exactly this Apache and Nginx servers works, right? Regarding the application server, there are many application servers are there, guys, right? We have a WebLogic servers, we have IAS server, we have a JBoss Red Hat, JBoss server, EAP and EWS, like that. We have a Tomcat server. So Tomcat servers are more popular application servers, right? So that's the reason I will be discussing about the Tomcat. Right, Tomcat application server. So, up, so after, so this comes under the uh, basics uh, stuff, right? Basic of Linux and uh, servers and basic networking, right? This I'm going to cover uh, like in four to eight sessions. I'll be going to cover it. So once this is done, guys. So when then we have to enter into an actual learning of our DevOps course. So it starts with the Git actually. So we need to learn any one of the source code management uh, tool actually, and Git is more popular these days, right? Right. So people are learning Git and GitHub because it is very popular and most of the organizations are using Git and GitHub. And as you know, that GitHub is very popular and the GitHub is acquired by the Microsoft company. Right. So whatever you do with the Azure DevOps, right. Right. Whatever you do, Azure DevOps, same thing can even do with the GitHub also. So we have something with a GitHub, a GitHub DevOps we have. Right. So GitHub DevOps, something like whatever you want to uh, execute the project, the whole project, you can create a dashboard, you can uh, like you can create a user stories, whatever you do operation onto the Azure DevOps, same thing can even do with the GitHub DevOps also. So this is what uh, like we will be learning about the GitHub. So we'll be learning about the Git and GitHub in this session. So basically it might take around six to eight sessions. So I'll plan to cover up to six sessions about, about this. Git and GitHub, very important, guys. We need to know about this Git and GitHub very well because most of the questions in the interview, they'll be asking you in the basics of Git itself. Clear? So apart from, after this, guys, the fifth model, what I'll be covering is a Terraform Packer. So I'll be elaborately uh, taking up this uh, session, guys, on Terraform and Packer. So I will plan to take it uh, on Terraform on both AWS as well as uh, on Azure platform also so that we'll be able to understand like how exactly we can create an infrastructure. You know very well that Terraform is basically infrastructure as a code tool. So whenever you want to create any infrastructure in any cloud platform, either in cloud platform or on even onto the on-premises, then Terraform is one of the popular tool what we see in uh, in today's time. 
Apart from that Terraform, there are many other are there which we'll be discussing in, in the same session. But I see that Terraform is having more market, right? Slowly, even Pulumi is also coming up, right? So uh, Pulumi also, I'll just give one introduction session about what exactly Pulumi is all about and how you can work under the Pulumi also. That also we will discuss. So here, apart from this Terraform, guys, I also plan to take up the Packer tool. So Packer, uh, in many of the organizations, uh, right, uh, they're asking about the Packer tool. So Packer is also one of the HashiCorp's, uh, uh, you know, like uh, tool actually. And in the Packer, basically, I will be showing you like how you can build up a image actually. So whenever you want to build any customized image, so you need a tool actually. So, so for that, Packer, I will be taking up actually. This is will be a very interesting uh, like uh, tool, guys, which will be learning actually. Okay. So you'll be seeing that I'll be creating a lot of images using the Packer tool. So what is a format? how you can write a Packer tool, how to install it, how to build a Packer uh, sorry, uh, image with the help of a Packer. All those things will be discussing under this section. So this itself will take me around five to six sessions or more than that. And uh, Terraform it, uh, will take me around, around 10 sessions. So you might expect around 16 sessions. I'm just mentioning 12 to 14. It might go up to 16 sessions where I'll be covering this complete model actually. Right. And af after this, very important, guys. So after you learn version control system, it is always uh, good that we learn about the Jenkins and Jenkins. I need not to tell anything about that. You know where exactly Jenkins we use. So it's a comp it's a CICD pipeline tool where we use you know, right for, uh, you know, uh, do, uh, the, for completing our CICD, uh, you know, like uh, continuous integration, and continuous deployment. Right. We use uh, like. Jenkins a lot in industry. So we'll be covering all this uh, like topics in uh, this Jenkins. So in Jenkins, guys, uh, what we'll be doing, right? I will be focusing on Jenkins, complete Jenkins. And then like I'll be focusing on writing a scripted and declarative pipeline. And we'll be discussing about the Maven build tool, right? There are many build tools are there. Like we have a Maven, Gradle, we have Make also is there. I'll be discussing about the Make files also. Right, uh, how to compile or how to build uh, using the make files. So for the C language, so whenever you write any uh, program or whenever application developer write any program in C or C++, you can use a make or C make or N make uh, like tool. That's a build tool for compiling the code. So that also I'll be discussing, even though if I'm not mentioned, still I will take that. Apart from that, guys, I will be even explaining about the sonar cube, right? Which is nothing but your static code analysis tool. And also I'll be discussing about the Nexus Artifactory as well as the JFrog Artifactory. So this is all which will be part of your Jenkins. So this would be a little bit lengthy course, guys, because I have to cover many things. So that's the reason I've mentioned around 16 sessions. So it might nearly go around three weeks of class where I'll be, I have to cover up many things. Correct? So apart from this, guys, so the seventh model, the next model is not but the GitLab, so which is a very new thing. Nowadays, people have started using uh, GitLab a lot, and it is also a pipeline tool now. And in the in this session, right, I will be uh, discussing about how the GitLab works, how you can write your first pipeline in the GitLab, what is about the runners, how to install it, and how to use all those variables and all. And also, I'll be discussing a small project where you'll be doing uh, implementing complete CI/CD pipeline, and we'll be doing a deployment onto the Heroku Cloud. Actually, this is one of the cloud we will be deploying the application by using the GitLab uh, pipeline tool. So this is about the GitLab. So I have mentioned four sessions, but it might go more than that. Five or six sessions it might go, so that I will you will be able to get some uh, like basic idea on how GitLab works. Uh, right. That's the reason I thought that I'm going to add this uh, in a, like uh, this model uh, in uh, after this Jenkins. Right. I thought I'm going to add this one. And the eighth model, guys, so I'll be covering up the Ansible. So Ansible, as you know, it's a configuration management tool. So Ansible is basically used for uh, doing a deployment, right? In a real time, we use Ansible server a lot for doing a deployment purpose. And in many organizations, they started using Ansible also. So it is always better for a DevOps engineer that he should have some basics knowledge on how Ansible works and how you can actually do an application deployment to the Ansible by writing a playbook file, by writing a roles or else by using some kind of a Ansible galaxy, or even that you can even, uh, uh, you know, work with the Ansible, uh, uh, what do you call, um, control plane, right? Control tower, we say. So where you will be uh, Ansible control tower, where we'll be using all, all your deployment you we are doing with the GUI actually. We have many things like Ansible control, uh, control tower is there. You have something AWX is there, 
we also have something like a ansible semaphore is there which is that but all these three things the three tools are the ui tools case it means that suppose a user administrator he don't want to learn how exactly the ansible playbook works but he want to just execute the task so he can use this ui so i'll be discuss as part of this uh, model right at the end i will be discussing about the ansible control tower as well as aws this two i am going to cover as part of the ansible ui right so this is what i will be covering guys so i have mentioned as like 12 sessions yeah it might take around 12 sessions to complete this all these things as part of ansible so guys still here what i have planned right let this eight models be as a part of this devops part 1 okay so now after this uh though i can discuss this devops part 2 in the, uh, some other time but still i will be showcasing the i'll be showing you the content course content so you could see that what i'm covering as a at the as the devops part 2 i'll be covering about the docker and the docker orchestration docker swarm docker compose orchestration everything as part of your uh, docker right so i'll also be covering about like here about the aws uh, ecr actually right elastic container registry right and ecs elastic container service right on aws so this is what i'll be covering at the end of this session right after that like we will once the docker is completed i have mentioned as a 12 sessions yeah we'll be able to cover by 12 sessions all these topics after this we will be covering the kubernetes so kubernetes will be a lengthy session guys i mentioned 12 to 15 it might go up to 18 sessions so all these topics you could mention you could see that all this we are going to cover right so some of them of some of you have asked me about the service mesh and sto uh, i will see guys if i am able to uh, if i if i am able to cover i will cover it or else we will see in the next batch we are going to see it because uh we uh, we cannot accommodate all the things guys it will be like it will be really, really it will be hectic for me to cover all these things so service mesh and istio we'll see i can promise up to service mesh istio we will see it later okay so this is the course content guys for the kubernetes actually apart from this kubernetes i'll also be discussing exclusion on uh, kubernetes on aws that is on eks uh, clustering solution right elastic kubernetes service so i'll be having some four to five sessions where i'll be exclusively covering on the eks part as well as on to the aks also which all which is not but we will be covering on the azure kubernetes service so here uh, there are a lot of interesting things are there to learn about the aks because aks is very popular now and uh, we will see how aks works actually if you are once we are comfortable with the kubernetes guys right learning about the aks and eks is very easy actually it is not that difficult so take it from me that if you have to be good at uh, kubernetes concepts and all this whatever you are learning then the aws and aks is just you have to map and understand in the cloud how it works and what are the services we have related to that that's all it will not be that difficult so learning this part right model 3 and model 4 will be very easy once you understand the kubernetes very well so after that guys i'll be covering about the monitoring tool so basically i'm covering two tools that is elk as well as prometheus grafana elk as you know in my channel already i'm uploading videos actually so even like in this week also i'll be uploading few more videos so that elk i'm going to able to complete it but still as part of the course content right i will take even the elk elk from the very beginning and even the prometheus grafana also approximately it comes up to 10 sessions so i can divide up to 5 and 5 sessions so that i'll be able to cover up the whole monitoring tool actually so apart from this guys you can also i will be also be discussing something on the data dog something on new relic i can take one session or two sessions on new relic i will uh, uh, i will tell you about how exactly new relic works uh, dynatrace i am uh, i have some good knowledge on dynatrace so i will discuss about that also so but majorly we will we will cover this two tools guys actually there yeah. apart so apart from this model 5 we have uh, i think uh, it's model 6 sorry so sorry model 6 will be covering about some security related tools right so primarily we will be covering the hashicorp vault and uh, we will be covering the trivi tool as well as a owsp zap testing tool so these are some important uh, like uh, security related tool which we will be using uh, in our uh, devops uh, uh, stuff actually so vault some of you know that like you want to 
store any kind of a key management you want to have a, like you want to store some username and the passwords right and it should be in some kind of a uh, uh, you know like a rotational passwords you need to have right so then hashicorp vault is a very good tool which you'll be using so and you need to like uh, manage all your secrets configs everything right you can use that hashicorp vault very well so basically if you see that uh, in nowadays like vault is majorly used in most of the projects right uh, whenever we are trying to deploy onto the aks cluster right we manage everything all the passwords users passwords management everything through the vault actually so vault plays a very important role so we will be discussing about that and uh, we have a trivi tool which is used for basically for your uh, checking your uh, uh, like it scans uh, the security for any kind of security threats in your images when you are building any uh, docker image right so you need to do some kind of a scan it you need to make sure that your image whatever you are building right uh, like it doesn't have any kind of a security loopholes or something so for that we will be using a trivi tool where you will be running it and we will get a report on that saying that okay it will give all kind of reports to us so by looking to that report we will be able to fix all kind of a security threats in our image when we are building it so this is also very important guys so nowadays like we use this trivi tool even in our uh, you know in our uh, Uh, UAT environment as well as in a prod environment also, right? We'll be using these tools, as well as we'll be using AWS Zap testing. So all this part, guys, we will be covering exclusively when we come up with this topic. Actually. Okay, and apart and at the final, the last model which I'll be covering is on AWS, guys. So we will be starting with AWS. So I will be taking some uh, like major services what we use. So this would not be a complete full fledged cloud sessions. because why we are learning cloud because nowadays like whenever you want to learn devops right we need to have one cloud knowledge right without a cloud knowledge you cannot say that you know a devops because all the devops automation or the tools are implemented or used on top of the cloud technology only so all your application management everything is happening in the cloud it is not happening into the it is not happening in the on premises right so for that what happened right you need to even have a knowledge on the cloud also right so as part of the as part of the learning cloud right so i will be teaching some uh, few of the services which are used as a day to day uh, like a requirement for any devops uh, engineer so whenever a devops engineer he'll be working he need to have minimum some basic uh, services knowledge so as part of that i will be covering all this basic services whatever it is uh, whatever i have mentioned over here right so there are many other uh, like you have aws fargate you know you have uh, aws uh, uh, code commit code pipeline services are there which are not mentioned over here but we will see at least we will take one one session on that and we'll try to cover up as much as possible so but i'll be planning to cover all these services whatever i mentioned guys apart from this if you have any other thing you can uh, you can ask me later we will cover even that part also okay so now guys so so this is our the part b right now uh, i didn't mention one thing guys so when i am taking what i'm planning like when i'm taking this course actually say for example when we are taking the part 1 devops part 1 what we'll be doing after completing of every module right what i will do that i will have one a session at the end where we'll be discussing about uh, where we'll have a quick uh, like uh, recap of all the things whatever we have covered so far in that particular module right and also we will also have a uh doubt session if you have anything and also we will discuss about some important questions some important question and answers related to that so what i'll be doing for each and every model i will do one thing i'll try to prepare the question as well as with answers and then like we'll have one session like we'll keep off the last session will be a kind of a two hour session we will where we'll quickly rewind everything what we learned in that model and we will discuss about the important question answers which with pertaining to that model right say for example if i am discussing about the jenkins right so if you come down here version control so we will have one session at then where we will be quickly capping everything and we will be discussing about the important question and answers which will be asked in a git or github so it will be mostly all this question answers will be a uh, interview question answers which will be asked so by this way what we will do guys we will be uh, understanding or we will be learning about what exactly the interview questions are being asked uh, on to the particular topic and uh, uh, how we have to tackle all those question what are the kind of uh, intermediate questions or scenario based questions or some corner based questions which are asked right those things also we will discuss it suppose if you have any of your questions right if you have a questions Uh, uh questions with you you can even share with me we will even discuss that also 
right? So I am just planning to even add this as a part of in every model. So I have not, I forget to mention, but you can consider that in every model we'll be discussing about this part also very well. Clear? So that's all guys. So, and also what I'll be doing, I have not, I have missed to mention one more thing guys. So what I'll be doing here, like after the part one completes or the DevOps part one complete, because we are covering up some of the tools, like for example, Git, Packer, Terraform, Jenkins, uh, GitLab, Ansible. These are some of the uh, like uh, tools or a topic which will be covering as a part one. So I'll be covering minimum two or three or minimum two projects for the part one where we will be writing a pipeline and we'll be deploying an application using the Ansible. So I'll be writing a pipeline code as well as I will be writing, uh, I'll be configuring the uh, Ansible and integrating with your uh, with your Jenkins and integrating your Jenkins even with your Terraform, even with your Git, so that we are going to develop a project actually. It will be kind of a mini project. So at the end of this model one, we will be, we will be discussing minimum two projects. Minimum two to three projects we can expect. Same thing, what I would be doing that because uh, uh, in uh, that's what we'll be discussing, and in the in the part two also, guys, there was part two also. We are covering an ample uh, number of tools actually. So here also, what I'm planning that we will be covering minimum two to three projects in uh, in the part two, where we'll be writing a pipe, a whole pipeline. We'll be calling a Docker to build image, and we'll be calling a Kubernetes to uh, like to go and run the YAML file, right? On to the AWS cloud actually. So we will be either using a EKS cluster or the on-premises, or else we'll be using some of the other services of the AWS where I'll be showcasing some of the projects uh, in the part B, right? So that's what I mentioned as part of this whole course, I'll be covering about six uh, real-time projects, three in DevOps and three in AWS, I'll be covering up. Oh, can I use the restroom? Ah. <laughs> Clear, guys? So yeah, apart from this, yeah, at the end, anyhow, we have to discuss about the resume preparation. So how we can uh, right, uh, come up with our resume and uh, what are the main uh, important things you have to mention in the resume. So I have a lot of resumes with me so that we can uh, sit and discuss about how we have to well uh, you know, showcase our skill sets, everything into the resume. So designing a resume or coming out with a resume is also very important, guys. So that will uh, like that is a first impression which you have to do always. So you need to prepare a proper resume for, uh, for looking for a job outside. So we'll be discussing at the end about this resume preparation. As well as we'll have even we'll have a mock interviews also with some of you, right? All with if, with everyone actually. If everyone are willing, okay, you can go with the mock uh, interview. So I will be giving a slot for you guys so that you can prepare for the topics and all. So I will start uh, interviewing you so that we will be uh, covering up all the intro based, uh, you know, scenario based question. What have been asked in intro, right? That we will cover everything in a mock interview so that you will get a like kind of a hands on or you'll get habitual for uh, you know attending interview and uh, that. Uh, interview phobia or that fear should go off from your mind right so many of them have asked me like sir how are you going to uh, like uh, share all these things guys from that one onwards i will be sharing all the videos to a drive so you can download that video and you can actually watch that video right if any one of you missed it you can still go and download and watch the recording and in the next day when you come in the class right before you come to the class you can ask me any doubts if you have or you can call me uh, before itself right uh, one day before itself, or suppose today you missed the class, if you're not understood anything, right, you can call me tonight and ask me about the doubts. We will discuss that. And tomorrow, next day, when you come on, right, you stay 15, 20 minutes uh, after the session, right? I'll be covering up whatever I've covered, uh, whatever I said in the previous session. But I would request you that you go to the previous day recording and then only come with the doubt so that it will be better. Don't ask me to repeat the whole thing. So it will be difficult for me. Only some main bullet points which you need, right? Those things I will discuss in the uh in those sessions okay okay so but still i would uh, rather request everyone not to miss the class try to attend it if not suppose in case if you're missing some classes so it is uh, better that like you go through the recording first and then you ask me the doubts right and of course as part of this course guys i'll be i have uh, created a lot of pdfs and all and articles which i'll be sharing with you uh, about this and uh, it'll be very much beneficial so most of you already know that i've been sharing a lot of documents with you all uh, the same thing, I would be uh, creating a complete folder where I'll be uh, discussing as well as even on a day-to-day -day task, right? I'll be, for every session, I'll be writing a live notes actually, right? Live training notes also will be shared to you.
clear guys so that's all about this guys this uh that's all about this announcement so if you have any doubts let me know you can uh, unmute and you can ask the question uh abhishek you have any question uh no sir uh, not any doubt uh, thanks the syllabus is very extensive and really we are going to cover this much i think uh, we will be very much prepared for uh, the current job market that is what i feel mm -hmm. uh, and uh, rest is good sir uh, i don't have any question regarding that as far as co mesh is concerned i think uh, that that is not needed because the syllabus is already very much extensive. So uh, maybe one day or two day we will have a normal discussion on the questions and all what what are getting yeah. in market, uh, whatever questions are coming in. We will discuss those on uh, and mesh, maybe like that. We will do. Yeah, we will. Uh, what we can do, like you can park all those questions and we can have a discussion on this whenever we discuss about the last session, right? Right, right. into questions related to that topic we will cover so that we will get to know about in that particular topic what exactly they're asking the question so jenkins what they are asking sonar cube what they ask nexus artifactory right so, right so topic by topic if we discuss then it will be good for us actually yeah 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 Neeraj sada you have any questions uh no no this is yeah, think, uh, uh, one more thing, guys, I want to tell you, like um, some of you have asked me about the Azure DevOps. Sorry, I'm not covering Azure DevOps because it will be too much, actually, because if you add that model into this course, it'll be like it'll be uh, it'll be very difficult. The course will go more than beyond six months, actually. For that, I have to cover the Azure basics first and then like I have to take about the Azure DevOps. So that we will see in the next uh, course. Actually, next course, I'll be uh, uh, I'll be taking Azure and Azure DevOps, the cloud and the Azure DevOps. Okay. And some of you have asked me about the GitHub Actions also. So GitHub Actions, I will see. If possible, I will add one or two sessions, not more than that. Okay. I will see. I'll show you how exactly GitHub Actions works. Uh, right. So when I'm covering the Jenkins site, at the end, I will be uh, even covering the GitHub Actions also. And also, as you mentioned, uh, Deepak, I'll be covering up the Argo CD also as a part of the mini project. Right. I'll be showcasing it to you guys. Okay, so GitLab, uh, like uh, even I'm also learning. So uh, that's what I kept very small. So, but it might go more than four sessions, guys. So that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Ansible is also, all these are very lengthy, lengthy course, guys. I'm just saying 12 sessions, it'll go beyond that, actually. You will see that uh, if I take two and a half months, right, it'll go up to three months, guys, actually. To be very honest with you, it'll go up to three months. So please be prepared for three months only. Yeah, Rajesh, so the uh, curriculum is great. I mean, if uh, hit upon almost everything, just a couple of things I noticed uh, in the Linux module, I think it would be great if you can add the add both set and doc. Set and doc, I'll be adding, sir, because uh, I actually to be very, uh, that's good thing that you, what you raised it actually. So what uh, in the last batch when I took advanced Linux, right, I missed to take up a set and doc programming. So that I will be covering extensively actually for you guys. It's good yeah. that you covered it. So I'll be taking around uh, one or two sessions on this actually. Right, because that, that would be crucial for scripting. Yeah. Then the so guys, in, in the next module, which is, uh, I believe, uh, the web servers, right? Mm, mm. Uh, so uh, in web servers, approximate two sessions is what uh, you yeah. have uh, calculated. Yeah. Uh, do you think in two sessions the nginx uh, no, 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 reverse no, proxy load no, lines, no 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 uh, no, no, yeah, no, no. We, won't, we can't cover we have to minimum four or five sessions we need four i, I think kept... would be good yeah but it'll again it'll go very lengthy sir this course this part a will go four months sir <laughs> whatever I... the basic is required in apache Linux, i will cover it, sir and in sure. the model three right this apache uh, sorry tomcat uh, server right tomcat application server this uh, uh instead of taking it separately what i will do right i will take up this uh, with along with the Jenkins. Because when I'm teaching Jenkins, right, you need to do a deployment of all the packages into some application server. At that time, I will be taking these two, uh, two sessions uh, exclusively on the Tomcat server. 
even though i mentioned that is with respect to the application server uh, your yes application server yes 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 uh, nginx is reverse reverse proxy reverse proxy to, yes uh, yeah that one also you will be covering there yes i have to cover that yes okay and yeah. uh, when it comes to monitoring okay there is uh, yeah. uh, see you can cover many things sir. like for example you need to even cover ftp server nfs server right those basic oh, i guess that is not really very uh, important required, no uh, not uh, required but you have seen that many people use this nfs drive nfs shared drive and all right mm -hmm. as an external uh, storage part right you mm -hmm. use ftp and many people uh, you know like even though they know ftp how it works but they don't know internally how it works actually right mm -hmm. so those things simple simple uh, like uh, m get m put uh, right all those commands get m uh, get <laughs> put all those things we will do are just on hands on we'll do so that people will get something so this would be useful for a freshers or the for the non it guys actually right so when it comes to uh, with, with respect to the the monitoring uh, yeah one second how many issues you are going to take in a week or you are going to take only in bigger efk sanjay uh, yes sanjay sanjay uh, as i discussed that this class would be from monday to friday between 6 to 7:30 am morning this is just a time i have mentioned but we will be discussing later about we will fix the time later okay as i mentioned so don't worry about this timing we will uh, we'll take everyone's concern and then only we will fix the timing so monday to friday why i have not kept weekends because that you can practice all the five days whatever we discussed so guys we will be covering almost like in a week we will be uh, covering how much 8 to 9 9 hours will be covering up so 9 hours or more than 9 or 10 hours if i covering you need to digest the whole 9 or 10 hours class whatever we covered in the weekends actually right so every day you will attend the class but you might not get a time to uh, you know like do the practice so what you have to do means saturday sunday you have to keep exclusive for practicing the whole weeks trust me guys the week on week if you start practicing whatever we did right definitely you are going to become you're going to become good in devops actually right so that's the reason if in case if we are not able to like if it is lagging bad right then i will request you to come even on saturdays also saturday also please come and attend the classes else so that we once we start the course at then we will see sir how it goes actually right but initially what we will do that we will keep it up to monday to friday and then we can extend even saturday also or if you need you can even extend sunday also but uh, what i would say is that please keep it for your practice that's what that would be best actually firstly give a time to your family that is first important thing and second is that give some time for yourself for practice right what happened right if you are saying that okay i'll practice next week next week i'll practice some day so this this course should be slowly it is going to complete so from my end i'll be completing it but from your end you are not completing it right because you are still lagging behind you are still attending you are attending but you are not practicing it so so when you become expert as or when uh, there's a value for attending this course once you practice guys and that practice practice you have to do daily if not weekend you have to practice right so when do you plan to start sir yeah uh, so we will see the participants are number of participants i'm planning to start by 15th that is next week so right uh, so where i can mention here that uh start date like right? what is the start date guys it is 15th of uh, july 15th of july we will want to start we will see if in case if i mean uh if in case if suppose number of participants uh are not uh, i'm not getting number of participants more right then we will we'll see sir if in case i can request you all to even like uh, we can start at 20 either 15th or 22nd sir or 22nd any one date will start sir if not july 15th definitely 22nd will start at any cost uh, and one more thing rajesh uh, a suggestion would be that uh, uh, create please create one uh, whatsapp group exclusively for the for for the course for the participants yeah, yeah i'll be doing that sir that's what once the enrollment starts once people shows interest right, then we'll, uh, i'll be uh, creating uh, like uh, the groups are active. Yeah. Okay, great, great. So I'll be dropping off now. Thanks, Rajesh. Six thank you, thank you all. So Mahesh has asked me, is there any possibility of taking the class at the evening? We'll see, Mahesh. That's what I said, right? We will see the number of participants, right? How many people enroll and uh, uh, which timing they're okay. Based on that, we will see, sir. Like uh, Mahesh, if in case if the uh, uh, batch starts in the morning, I can't help out because if if the majority of the people are asking the morning time, right? Then we have to see it. Okay. Any fine. other question, guys?
any other question final questions before we wind up so uh, sir uh, i think we should take a poll uh, today itself like who all are joining and all because uh, mm. and how much is the minimum number of people you are expecting to join your batch so uh, mm. based on that you said like you will decide like it will be 15th or 22nd yes yes abhishek i will see abhishek i will uh, any anyway, of you are in touch with me through the whatsapp right like uh, yeah, yeah. we will uh, yeah we, i will let you know by this week within a couple of days we will i will let you know when we can have a time uh, when we will have uh, the sessions good to get started okay. out maybe 15th oh. i think if not 22nd definitely will start at any cost okay okay clear pranil sanjay shivam any other questions monisha neeraj no question sir but um, what kind of projects sir in the project we will be covering all the tools no sir like at the end yes, of sir. the project yes sir we have to cover uh, up all the tools integrating all these tools and you uh, know like yeah. uh, uh, you know like uh, yeah see for example see for example like see you can project you can say as anything say for example you want to do a, uh, like you want to create infrastructure in aws or you want to create a exclusive infrastructure in uh, aks right we use a terraform so you can showcase a terraform as your project where you yeah. uh, worked uh, on building an infrastructure so what you have to do means you have to showcase the cloud right you have to showcase the terraform as well as you have to showcase the one of the cicd pipeline say for example jenkins right yeah so you are creating a terraform so you are writing a terraform code and then like through the jenkins you are call you are uh, you are uh, you are uh, calling that job where the terraform files are there and the terraform files when they are getting executed that is going to create infrastructure in aws so these three tools you can showcase as one project actually okay right or i say mummy em cheppadam hey good point re or i say mummy vachina akra ayaled clear guys yeah sure pranit uh, any other question guys okay let me take up some question please have troubleshooting post technology it's okay sandeep we'll take up that also yes troubleshooting yeah you can see major troubleshooting see troubleshooting and also sandeep i will be showcasing then and there itself in the class because whatever i will face the issue right i'll be showcasing in the class itself right this is what i have i have been fa facing the issue so you will get to know for everything guys don't worry about that anyway it's a good suggestion uh, sandeep i will take that consideration as a troubleshooting so you can add up here like uh, Linux uh, troubleshooting. And error handling. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, you put the AWS in uh, second phase, I mean, second mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, uh, I, I feel like it should be in the first part. So first part, what happened? No, I will be only uh, uh, for your basic DevOps lab setup only. I'll be using AWS. That's all. I will not be covering extensively about all the services because that if I start taking up in the first module itself, right? Then uh, there are a lot of things to be covered, man. I cannot cover everything in the three months duration or two and a half months duration. So what I'm planning, right? In the second uh, part, right, where you'd be having Docker, Kubernetes, right? and even some security tools and all right uh, as part of this at the end i will take about this cloud also okay. see cloud you can consider as a small man smaller uh, you know like uh, model actually because i'll not be covered extensively just like you will see that one one session for everything ec2 one or two sessions iam one or two sessions vpc two sessions s3 you can take s3 for 10 15 session you can take i'll be taking only two sessions load balancer two sessions like that two 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 session one session see cloud watch cloud trial uh, uh all these things in one session i'll cover aws uh, elastic band stick one session i'll take one session on ews fargate one session like that i will be taking in a very smaller way so that you will get a glimpse of how this service works that's all i'll not be taking elaborately got it because if i start taking elaborately this is this itself will take 40 50 sessions it will take we can't cover man why because, see why i have kept you know in the part to uh, part b because that we are having this big brother kubernetes that itself will take i'm telling you 12 to 15 it will take more than more than that man 20 sessions it will take and here you could see that kubernetes on aws 5 i'm mentioning 10 it will go around say this kubernetes on aks 10 it will go this itself is a huge big uh, brother actually which you need to cover if we cover exclusively this docker and kubernetes no man then like uh, no, we can say we will be satisfied in this DevOps part, I'm saying. So this, along with this, some monitoring tool, which is good actually because we'll be integrating this ELK or Prometheus with the uh, Kubernetes. That's what I kept the monitoring tool here in the second part, as well as we'll be uh, showcasing some 
security tools, right? I'm saying five sessions, but definitely it'll take more than that case, right? And then this one. So this itself is a huge course, actually, part two. It'll take three months, guys, actually. No, no, one or two sessions will not go parallel, man. Uh, right, uh, Sandeep, it's good that you raised this question. So, guys, as part of this course, right, we'll be completing the first DevOps part one, and then only DevOps part two will be covering. Right? Yeah, it seems good, uh, Rajesh, because it looks like a uh, well way you have planned because basic is needed first, then we can later we can move for further for extensive topics. Correct, 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 correct. Correct, guys. So why, uh, guys, I have put, uh, seventy-five dollars for the outside funds because uh, why I have kept this because right, it will uh, charge me uh, for the exchange uh, stuff, right? Whenever people are, uh, you know, sending the uh, like uh, the commercial from the outside, right? So uh, some exchange money will also be considered. That's the reason. Uh, because I faced this problem uh, when I took the class for the advanced Linux shell scripting, right? A lot of people from the outside, uh, right? Uh, they, uh, you know, they uh, they enrolled for that course and know like uh, like a lot of money was detected. Post uh, like that's the reason I have kept some extra ten dollars extra for the exchange uh, stuff actually, right? Usually it comes up to sixty five dollars, right? But like I have kept ten uh, ten dollars more actually for the as a part of exchange. Clear. Okay, so guys, thank you all. Thanks for uh, joining. So let me Rajesh, stop the recording for a second. Let me stop the recording. Hello, uh, Rajesh. One more doubt is there. So Rajesh, the, the the classes which you are going to start, all the things will be live session only, or one recorded session? Some some recorded sessions will be there, Rajesh. So yeah, uh, Ramesh, right? Ramesh, yes, it's, yes. Uh, like will it will be most uh, most will be live only uh, because okay. what happened, right? Linux is so extensively. I might ask you to visit my channel to read some topics or go through some videos. Yes, yes. So when I start the cover class, right, I might not extensively cover on Linux because already there are a lot of videos are there in my channel. Right. Yes, yes. So that is the only part which I expect you to go through some videos. Apart from that, everything will be live, sir. All these things will be live. Yes, right. Yeah, and then so understood. Cover. Linux, we can go through it, no problem. But yes, uh, Linux, I problem. expect because when you start the course, right, you will see that Linux is so much that we can't cover, sir. Whatever the six is there, nothing, sir. Linux itself will take 10, 15 sessions. So I can't cover all these things then. All this basic networking, this, this, everything. Yes, yes. So, understood, yes. understood. Rajesh. That's yes. why I'm asking that one. Hmm. We need advanced concepts only. Correct. So, right. Linux, advanced. I think uh, anyone can cover it, no problem. But we yes, need yes. the concept. Yes, yes. Yeah, but as uh, one of the parchment, Mahesh said, no, said and knock, he needs it. This is good, actually. This will be covering uh, two sessions extensively so that okay. uh, people who want to, who are into scripting and programming, right, they can able to use this uh, effectively in their automation, actually. This I'll be covering it. Okay. Okay, Rajesh. So Thank last you. question. So, when you are yes. starting the enrollment? Uh this week, sir. I mean, uh, I mean, this is the announcement, right? So we will. Uh, I'll start to doing the enrollment now, actually. So people who are interested, right? Uh, they can reach out to me either through my WhatsApp number or you can directly call me. This is my WhatsApp number as well as you can directly call to my number. Okay, means so almost today you can. You yes, yes we can enroll. Yes, we can enroll it. Yeah, that's what. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sure, so, thank you, Sanjay. Thank you all, guys. So that's all for the. That's all about this discussion, and we will soon meet in the class. Right. Yes, Rajesh. Mo mostly next week, no classes. Yeah, yeah that's what. Uh, uh, that's what I just gave a two dates, guys. Uh, either it could be fifteen July, that is next Monday, or else twenty second max. Worst case, twenty second will start. Whatever might be. Okay. Uh, and one more thing, Rajesh, I need to ask you. Uh, I mean, uh, you have any work like that? So the sessions will continuously run, no? So there will yeah, be Monday no to gap. Friday. Every day we have to take, sir. Some yes, in between. Sir, that's, why, that's why I'm asking. If the gap yeah. will come, uh, uh, that's why. Uh, so we'll, we we cannot we cannot. We if the gap will come, you know the things. No, we can forget yeah, yeah. the previous things. That's why. See, uh, some health issue might come. We can't avoid it. Right? <laughs> huh, that uh, that I'm not. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to. No, I'm not going to explain about this health thing. Yeah. If the health issue will come, mostly we need to take that leave. That's, yeah, yeah, we'll take, that's what uh, anyhow we'll be in touch with the whatsapp group so that uh, we'll be updating everything over there itself right and yes, also yes, as i said right in every sessions class right at the end of the class also you can connect with me yes yes understood, right? understood. Uh, so but i'll be giving more uh, uh, like time for the freshers actually for the non it people who are enrolled for the non who are who say that i'm very new to this it right uh, i'll be giving more time to them actually 
ओके अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड ओके राजेश इट्स बीन अ नाइस सेशन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय बाय सो लेट मी स्टॉप द रिकॉर्डिंग गाइस